Another small video up in the hill fort. I've done uh, loads of photos in the mist. It comes out quite nicely actually of the clearing. And um, views of all this will be in the past if when they get the permission to cut them all down. This will be bare like Breen Down and Sand Bay. And Roboro Hill Fort. All around here we've got the pit holes. And I'm right in the middle of the clearing that we've had up here for a long time. We've had this clearing and we've had views of these trees for years. But all this is supposed to be going. Right, short video over and out, someone coming with two big dogs. Another quick video, I don't know if this is damaging to the camera, but it's, free, it's freezing fog almost now. A few people around with their dogs. The moon up there through the trees, look. I've taken a picture of that scene actually, with the moon beams coming through. Of these trees that are on death row. Basically, and if you see a label on one, it's because that one's been, and they tend to be these little skinny ones, by the way. I never see any labels on the great big thick oak, big, big thick ones. Somebody coming now. Look. There's another white beam there, look. That's quite a nice view. See that view with the moon? It's not quite coming out the moon actually, is it? This, tri this track here is getting wider and wider and eventually it'll turn into a, re a massive big muddy track. It's already getting like it, right? Um, so more and more people are visiting of course and of course then you get more churning. Which people need to visit. Yeah, of course they do. Right, I'm going to turn off again take some more photos, everyone. This is the old greybeards up there. And then you've got the ramparts ahead, entrances to the fort. And then you've got um, this area they're clearing to expose more of the features underneath. So, oh my, it's freezing fog. My hand holding the camera is actually frozen. Of course, there never used to be trees up here about two or three hundred years ago, apparently. It was sheep up here. The trees are relatively new, they say, so it doesn't matter if they chop them down. Well, I don't know about that. There's so many different arguments, but the, 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 the main argument is the way they're doing it. They haven't got the consensus of everybody and no one's been properly informed. That's what's causing the trouble. It's the way they're doing it and it's a type of underhand way, but in our faces. You know what I mean? Look, hacking and clipping and clearing, raking and shredding, strimming. To expose this. Someone might fall over and break their neck on that one day. So what, what's going to happen once they've cleared it all then? How are you going to protect these stones then? They've been protected for a couple hundred years. Now they're all cleared, look. All what was here is gone, being taken away. The big trees encouraged to fall and die. Over and out.